was my that was my creepy Gus impression. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I take it. Um, um, do you want to introduce our lovely Ooh, podcast? Right into it. Yeah. Okay. I'm Hi everyone. Rocking it. Yes. Hi everyone. Welcome <laughs> to all the films we judged before. I'm Katie. That is Lily Kay. We both got Ryan Reynolds behind us today. <laughs> Anzo is not I could. I don't actually know this kid's name. I should have looked that up. Well, uh, that's, we, we know it. I'm going to just edit it out. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> no, I won't. It happens. Okay, guys, we can't remember everything. I, I didn't do any prep for this episode. <laughs> Other than, you know, the watching the movie part. I did that. Well, that's the important But I didn't part. do it. I didn't, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't make any notes. I didn't really think particularly critically. <laughs> Uh, his name is Walker Scoble, ah, uh, Walker. and and he's he's awesome. Uh, but before we get into our review of this wonderful this is movie, title, uh, and it's behind us. Yes. You, so we're not we're talking about the Adam Project, but we're yes. talking about other stuff. Uh, but uh, first, we're going to talk about what did you watch last week? What did I watch last? week? Did I watch anything new last week? I don't think I did. I spent three days trying to find an episode of. A million little things to what that came out this last week because it just was nowhere on the internet. Like mm. some like thing happened where the wrong episode went up on like Amazon, and this every place that I usually go to find my episodes had the wrong episode, which was quite a nightmare. Fair, <laughs> but I found it. And it was okay. <laughs> and then I've been rewatching episodes like obviously, and then I don't think I did anything else. Did I? Oh. Done this week. <laughs> it's one of those weeks where I'm just like, I don't think I did anything. <laughs> this is not in my brain. Um, no, I don't think I really watched anything. No, no. It's okay. other than mm. other than you know, yes. We did buy a couple of box sets though. Um, oh, I went into I went I went in town um a couple of days ago because I was like I need to get out of the house. Um, so I went off to the city. And I mm. bought myself, I bought myself the leftovers as a box set because I've been wanting to get myself that for ages. And now I actually own it. Nice. And then I also bought myself black sails because I told myself I wasn't going to do that until after I finished Psych. And I've done it now. So now I have black sails and I can go back to watching black sails. Fair. Fair. And I got it on Blu-ray just to really treat myself. <gasps> mm. But now Fancy. I'll only be able to watch it on my PlayStation. <laughs> I mean, you have it in your room, don't you? I like, know, but like, the, I the way I tend to watch things, I tend because. I, I have my chair often set up right next to my bed because I put my laptop on it. It means I can get really cozy and watch things on my laptop with my, my plug-in DVD player. But obviously th there's no plug-in like Blu-ray thing, mm. which I feel like is, you know, what's the word? An untapped market. Maybe it's just not, I don't know. Maybe it's just some like way of it not being possible. I, but it feels like you should be able to plug in a Blu-ray player into a computer and use that. Alas, want, alas. no. No. It's okay. It's okay. But it doesn't matter. Yeah. What have you been watching? <laughs> <laughs> been more interesting than me? Um, I don't know if I'm, I finished that last because weeks are just, you know, they, I just don't remember. Want to see what happened last week? <laughs> uh, but I, I, did, did I talk about me finishing Peacemaker? You started Peacemaker I started, last time. I think we spoke okay. about it. You told me yesterday that you finished Peacemaker. I, I did but finish like... it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I love, I, I love James Gunn. That's very important. Uh, I think he's <laughs> pretty brilliant. I love the dialogue so much. I had such a fun time with it, and I love the story. And even though I hated Peacemaker in the Suicide Squad because he was yeah, an asshole, they did a really good job of, of making him uh, all complicated and interesting. Yes. Like, come on. I was like, and by the end, I was weeping. I was like, how? <laughs> I hated this guy and now I love him. It's like, he's so much more than he was in the Suicide Squad. And, and that's like pretty damn amazing. So I'm very happy with it. Uh, I really like the story. I think it was very, very fun. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think altogether, I just can't wait to watch a second season, which has been confirmed. I believe. Yes, I believe it has. Yes, they've only just have confirmed a UK air date. Like, yeah, I think, yeah, it, yeah. I think it's starting this week. This week in the yeah, UK, yeah. which is like Christ, <laughs> it took a while. <laughs> yeah, it's all on Sky and now TV and well. <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, but you're, you're gonna get it. That's you know, that's all that matters. We got HBO Max, so I was able to watch it now. Yeah, I just fuck this guy. <laughs> it trust me, it's worth it. It's it's it, it is. It's it's very good, very good job. And John Cena is just pff, fucking amazing. I love that guy. I've been seeing John Cena a lot and stuff. He pops up and he's in Psych. He plays. Juliet's oh, yeah, yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually checked him on IMDb to see if I should watch any other movies as well. And then that's when I saw, and I, oh, he was in Psych. There you go. Pops up at the end of the Psych movie. Kidnapped Sean and Gus. The whole thing. <laughs> they go to Norway. They don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, so that was fun. I finished that one. And I don't mm. know if you have watched it or not, but I'm guessing you didn't because you didn't mention it. I watched Turning Red as well. I haven't watched it yet. Louis was literally watching it when I came back from the walk. My, or actually, okay. when I went to go on my walk today. So I, I know it's there, and I have a very intention of watching it. I just haven't gotten around to it just yet. Um, I've heard really good things though. It's very, very good. Uh, it's not my favorite Pixar movie. I will put that out there. No one can be Coco so far, but um, it's very good. It's 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 up there. It's up there. Uh, and I just don't get like if you check the Rotten Tomatoes, like it has a ninety five percent from the critics and it has sixty five from the viewers. I think there's some because I saw it, that there was some woman who didn't realize that the whole thing was an allegory for puberty yeah. and got really mad about it and yeah. it was like Jesus Christ, guys! Oh my God! Some of the reviews, like like the user uh, reviews, are just ridiculous. I was reading them and I was like. It's a bunch of white people being like, yep. oh, I can't believe that this movie hasn't been made for me specifically. Yep. It's like, shut yep. the fuck up. Shut dude. up. I even posted about it on, on our Twitter account, which it's you like, should follow. <laughs> I did see, I saw, yeah, I did see that. Because, because I, you know, funnily on. enough, we're both logged into the same Twitter account. We are. <laughs> <laughs> I suddenly start getting notifications for likes for tweets I did not make, and I'm like, oh, at least tweeting from the account I mean, again. Look, we are a film account, so we should talk about this stuff. I was like, why the hell not? It's, yeah. You, you, yeah, you that, can't no, do that it review as well. wasn't pain. <laughs> well, I did. I just tweeted, ah, when the yes, it was very complex. I was like, oh, that was Katie. Okay. <laughs> I don't know nothing more to say about that. It's coming out the week of my birthday. I'm thrilled. I know you are. I, my I, birthday present. It is. It is your birthday present. So it's it's the Umbrella Academy. If you if you're not following us on Twitter, it's season three. It's coming down. So you know I have to watch the first two. <laughs> uh, and we also got the boys trailer. Yes, we which, did. Which you very kindly warned me about. I did uh, warn you about because uh, I, I was uh, we watched it. After our um, D and D game on Saturday, which you yep. were, were unfortunately not there for, mm, uh, no, it's not okay. I understand. Um, but we, I streamed it to our friends Jessica and and Maureen over Discord, and we watched it together. And I went, oh, I should warn Lily about that. I'm not gonna be pleased. <laughs> I am not. I'm a bit disappointed, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, oh, why do you need that? I mean, it may, to be honest, when it comes to the boys, I'm uh, surprised they haven't done it already. I know. I know. That was my thought as well. People explode if... constantly. I know. I know. I was like, I just closed my eyes uh, because he wrote down when it is, and I was like, it was oh. like yeah, it's that. It's not, it's not nice but uh all together it looks fucking awesome i was we, honestly <laughs> i knew i obviously we've we've one of our very first episodes or like uh, really early episodes was us talking about the boys, the boys yeah. i finally went and watched it um and i forgot how good it was and then i yep. watched the trailer, i was like shit the best this looks amazing <laughs> <laughs> i'm really even like june's gonna be a good month is all i'm saying it, it's, not it's, just because i'm turning 25 no, no. Also because of that, but also because we're getting very good things. Good uh, content. Yep. Yeah, very good content. Um, <laughs> so, you know, it's it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the boys. I hate mm -hmm. that they once again going to release it like three episodes all three together. Episodes in and, one then, week. <laughs> and I'm like... <laughs> they're, just, they're giving us too much and then not enough. Yep. And now I'm I'm guessing that's my guess that's my prediction that uh, they're going to finish the third episode with uh, Billy getting... Uh, he looks like his yeah, superpowers. What the fuck is that about? I, I don't know. I'm not, I was like, hold on. <laughs> like, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Maybe he, he pushed it down and he always had it. Or I have no idea. I haven't read the comics. So I'm like, I'm, I'm virgin uh, on that territory. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I was like, okay, I, I guess he's getting superpowers now. So um, you know, it's gonna be even more intense than it's already is. So. <laughs> 
Yeah. Very interesting. I mean, and we're getting Jensen. I mean, like, I mean, he already looks incredible. Incredible. Like I, I, I knew it obviously, obviously he was going to be good. Yeah. Eric Kripke gives Jensen all this credit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> My joke. Um, uh, yeah. No, it's it just. I'm so. I'm really excited about it. Oh god. Yeah. People, my phone just keeps buzzing. People um, are interested in you, Katie. No, I, this is this is Robert Sheehan just tweeted about me. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I think he, he has a new uh, series coming out on, on um, Netflix. Yeah, I feel like I saw something, yeah. and I don't remember what it is now. They, they, kids have to save the world from killer drones that he creates. That's what I gather from the trailer. And then it very has fun. a very disgusting part in it, so I was like, yeah, I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> like, like, nope. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it looks like a, like a more of a teen or more like preschool. Uh, no, not preschool. That's too young. <laughs> Whatever. Too young. <laughs> <laughs> it's something. Uh, but uh, the, and and also I got the very good news that uh, Camp Cretaceous season five is coming in July. So I'm very. I'm very fun for you. Yes. So excited. Uh, but yes, it's time. To talk about is it now? Yeah. Bless you. Not that. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> about this. Right? Yes, about this. About this. Like this. I I I, I want to hear your thoughts first. <laughs> I, I I was going to tweet about this, and then I went, no, I'm going to hold off. Oh, and sit and <laughs> because I was it. looking at it like, did Katie watch it now? <laughs> no, I did. I did. I did watch it. I watched it on Friday. I um yes, after I came back from my trip to the city. I came back and I snuggled myself into bed and I watched it on my laptop. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I said this before, mm-hmm. I have been finding myself a little bit tired of some of the stuff that Brian Wells has been doing recently. It feels like there's been, he's he's had a couple of like duddish sort of films mm-hmm. come out, I mm-hmm. think. I'm really, I'm really keeping you mm-hmm. <laughs> Um Yeah, it was just like, um, I felt like some of, the, it feels like a, he's been doing a lot of just like, more Deadpool, which has been a bit sort of like eh, for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I liked Free Guy fine, but there were a couple points where I was like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> but actually, I thought this was really good. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I, I I laughed out loud multiple times. Can't tell you specifically what at right now. There were just a couple of lines that really did make me chuckle, and I got real misty at the end of it. It was kind of got misty. Um, you know, couple of Little, yeah. little small tears um it's a good movie <laughs> I, was, I was impressed it's not like a masterpiece or anything but it was it no. was you know it was nicely compacted i think the um you know if i had any kind of issue with it it's just that it's just the fact that it was like oh we're doing time travel and i feel anybody who tries to do time travel differently from what has been done before it always feels a bit sort of like okay what the fuck is happening now <laughs> It's like they left to go in 20. Okay, we're gonna get, I'm gonna go into some spoiler stuff now. It's on Netflix, go oh, watch yeah. it. Um, <laughs> it's it's spoiler time, guys. So, spoiler time. Um, they left 2022 to go to 2018, and I was like, What about your poor mother and the house you just destroyed? <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end, when they kind of were like, Oh, they just go back to their own time, I was like, mm-hmm. Oh, okay, neat. I guess, wait, <laughs> uh, I guess that's all right then. But I, I was a bit sort of like, they just, they left without saying anything. <laughs> I don't know, those small things. But like I said, I did enjoy it. Now you say things. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't wait. I tweeted about it. I freaking... I saw. <laughs> I freaking loved it, like, every minute. I It was exactly what I needed and what I wanted from this movie. Um, it, it It's worth noting that I didn't even watch the trailer because I wanted to see everything as it happens so I didn't want to get anything spoiled because trailers do that sometimes as we know uh, and uh, and I just you know it was way more heartfelt than I thought that it's going to be which I pretty much enjoyed a lot because I'm a crier so I ended up crying a lot <laughs> on this movie obviously um, uh, I love Water I think she's she's he is uh, such. I mean, that kid is too smart for his own good. He's, he's awesome. Like I, I think he took on Ryan's 
personality energy. and energy <laughs> so well that uh, I was like, I can completely imagine this kid being a young Ryan Reynolds. I mean, you've seen the video of yeah. him in the car. Right? So just for those who may not have seen it, there's a video of him in the back of a car on the on set of him just doing the entirety of Deadpool 2 by himself with yep. Ryan Reynolds just sitting there like... <laughs> Yep. And I was like, holy God, <laughs> it's me at 14. <laughs> but with Sherlock and not Deadpool. Fair, 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 oh. fair. Not that point. So much. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I absolutely loved it. And it is easily one of my new favorite movies out there. I, you know, I, I am 100% sure that I will watch this again very soon uh because i i just really enjoyed it i like you know it had everything i wanted and even more so i'm very happy i was a very <laughs> happy camper on friday <laughs> uh but let's get into details i guess a little bit i guess yeah you're gonna have to i really don't know what to say beyond like <laughs> i thought it was good is the thing um i don't know if it's it's a it's a movie that really demands a whole lot of like deep introspection this is gonna be a very short episode <laughs> so it might, this might be a short episode <laughs> uh but i i do have a few things to say then uh, then you lead the way and i'll follow uh there was this one thing i i always think about this when i watch any time travel movies and if, if they meet their younger self uh i always have this question in my mind like do you remember this like hmm. you know do you have it and and he asks the question when they oh, are yeah. on the spaceship. I was like, I was just thinking that. Thank you so much for asking it. Like you know, it, it does feel like a movie about because <laughs> the, obviously the whole premise is like built into the time travel sort of question. Really, is built into yeah um, the thing. So they really do have to do uh, uh, a stellar job of like establishing how the the world works. Mm -hmm. Um. And I don't, maybe it's just because, you know, w there have been so many time travel things. So many. That in my head, there's a couple of things where I'm like, it's hard to let go of old law, basically. Mm. Um, where I'm, I'm I, I mean, it was like the moment he pops up and he touches him, I'm like, I guess that doesn't mean it matter. And then you, guys, <laughs> you can interact with yourself physically yeah, and yeah, it yeah. doesn't bother <laughs> the time stream or what have you. In my head, I'm thinking about uh, one of, the early episodes of Doctor Who, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, where Rose goes back in time and tries to save her dad, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Don't touch, don't touch that baby." <laughs> Bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I think I let go of of that particular one uh, in... when Star Trek dropped the uh, uh, 2009 uh, Star Trek. Uh, and, yeah, and, that's and, and they had like a very specific joke about it. Like uh, I told him that uh, we can meet like when the original Spock meets the new Spock, and and they are like, ah, there you are. I, you know. <laughs> I should watch that movie again. It's been a while, and I really do like it. It's a great uh, film. Yeah, uh, I love, I love it so much. And a fourth movie is coming. I know. It's another new. Sam was like, yes. Uh, I hope they're gonna just decide. Uh, well, tangent. Just a little <laughs> tangent. Uh, please honor Anton. Anton Yachin. I'm Sam and Peg tweeted about him. Yeah, apparently it was his, it would have been his thirty third birthday. I think it was yep. yesterday. Yeah. Which and I was like, oh, yep. boy, he died on my birthday. That was like, oh no. I was I was I remember I was with some friends and it popped up as like an article and I I actually out loud went fuck off like it was just so. Okay. Anyway, I couldn't believe it. Like I was. I, I love that boy. I was fortunate enough to meet him uh, at one point and he was just the sweetest and and the most humble person that you can ever meet. Uh, and, you know, and when the news came, I was like, I was heartbroken. Like, I, I couldn't believe it that it's it's such... I, I don't have a better word. It's such a tragic, like, ridiculous, just tragic thing. It's, it's I, one of those things where it just sort of like, this just shouldn't have happened. No. No, and it was like it's so just sort of like accidental and and s senseless. And it's like, well, what the fuck am I meant to do with that? You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then uh, uh, they made a gorgeous, gorgeous documentary um, uh, called Love and Tosha, 
uh, which is what he always wrote to his mom. Uh, um, and um, in that, it turns out that he was actually sick and he had a very serious condition, uh, which would have meant that, you know, he we would have lost him early in a sense anyway because it's an untreatable disease uh so when i when i didn't know about it like n- nobody knew about it obviously he kept it uh, a secret from everyone uh and uh when they brought that up i was like yeah that it, it doesn't help <laughs> it, it doesn't help the pain he still would have had time so please i'm, I'm sure they're gonna they're gonna honor and then, and like, you know they will. Yeah, hundred percent. But you know, it's gonna be weird watching a fourth Star Trek movie with with this Without cast, him. and and he's he's not gonna be there. Yeah, mm. I love I love Anton. Uh, but yes, that was our little tangent on on Anton. We love you. And my my little my little addition onto that. Yes. The Fright Night remake is actually yes. a really great film. <laughs> oh my god! I actually love that movie. I so I much. love that film so much. <laughs> <laughs> be no, yeah. Not only does it have a great little Anton Yelch, you've yep. got Imogen Poots being, you know, Imogen Poots, who is always incredible. David Tennant in like full goth he is, gear. He was so incredible. Good. Yeah. And Colin, Colin Farrell, the sexy vampire. Right? Oh, God. He looks so good in that movie. I was Come like, on. <laughs> <laughs> everything you could want. Yep. Basically, I oh, I love that movie so much. I love it. Oof, I should rewatch it. That's a good reminder. Um, but uh, anyway, back to this movie. <laughs> yes, back to the Adam project. Um, uh, I will say that I was happy with the whole casting altogether, mm. but like I think this pairing of of Ryan and Zoe just worked so well for me. Like especially at the end, where you know we all expected that that they're gonna meet again. Uh, as they should have but that was just so sweet like i i don't like romantic stuff unless someone dies right we know <laughs> like, it's, it's, you're that's... a very strange woman <laughs> i'm very strange about that but then i was literally like oh, they're cute it's so cute i i, I mean I, mean... <laughs> I i love any kind of relationship that feels like that that has that sense of like Oh, you're you're it for me and nothing else it's yes. like it's this is this is everything and, and yeah um I, I, if you can get that in there and make it believable i'm usually very much on board yeah yeah i was i was thrilled so thrilled and i love zoe like she's one of my favorite actresses so oh yeah. man her entrance is the fucking coolest yes. thing that was the next <laughs> entire movie she comes in and it's just the most bad <laughs> shit <laughs> like and As i was like should be yeah there. <laughs> yeah this rule I loved when they were running towards each other. And like, fuck she off. just fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> but first, like this is how I I'm such an idiot. Like at first, I didn't put together how she ended up there. <laughs> she she lived through the years. <laughs> I know, but it took me so long to realize. Like, oh yeah, that okay, that tracks. <laughs> It, it, I think because obviously they had to like give you pieces of information as and when it came up but like yeah. sometimes you're a little bit ahead of, of the film so in my head I'm sitting here like why don't they just get a fucking plane and go back and then they have to be like only the person whose DNA um, oh, God, yeah. you know but then but then that doesn't make sense with the other ship um, with with uh, Story and, and the other bloke that they went because they were on wow. the same ship but that's like a bigger different ship is it just a different ship okay. I, I, I think like yeah, for me it it seemed like that it's like a bigger like it it has make I have more people on it and whatnot. So I was like oh, okay, mm. well, who knows? Maybe. Mm. <laughs> uh, but uh, yes, I'm just I'm very wary of these things because when I wrote my script uh, for my final project yes. at uni, um, one of the things I kept being told like insistently is that you have to make sure the internal rules of your world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they have to make sense mm-hmm. and I thought they made sense to me but like it seemed like when I had other people um, or at least my tutors read it they were like well how does this because my character is invisible but people would be like but they can they can't hear him either I'm like yes it's an all-encompassing invisibility how is this so hard to cross yeah, I don't know I got it <laughs> immediately because I read it. Uh, I got it immediately I was like oh, I love it yeah it's a good it script. was meant to be like um uh, Simon in Misfits. 
that was that was where I, I pulled it oh. sort of from. You know, it was like it was that's the same sort of way that that Simon. power worked. Mm-hmm. Simon's so creepy and yet ended up such a bad good guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love Simon so much. Uh, uh, awesome. Awesome. That's. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Um but uh you know I, I think uh it was also so good to see uh Jennifer Garner and Mark Ruffalo reunite. <laughs> Even if it wasn't like a big yeah, log yeah. No, but scene. I think it was it was enough to be like this it is was. nice. <laughs> it was it was and, and you know I, I think it's so wonderful because it's it's like it's not pushed into your face like you know you have to film something you really do like, feel look s- it's Mark Ruffalo <laughs> it doesn't feel like that at all no no it's it's just you know it, it I I love that the whole film just felt like just natural like you know it's you know I could completely uh, see uh, those two behind you being the same person uh i i love the chemistry that was built up between characters i really liked uh how mark ruffalo's character the dad immediately knew that oh it's my son (laughs) i i thought really interesting and i feel like i don't know if they they mind into it as much as maybe they could have but Mm -hmm. also maybe it's not it's not the time but there is a real sense of self-loathing and like a, a, an understanding of like a, a re mm-hmm. it's that thing of like reconnecting to your child self mm-hmm. um because he spends the entire movie being like like he, he I'm such like, a there's enough asshole. care <laughs> there that you can kind of I, I, mean, I don't know maybe it's just ryan Reynolds' natural ability to be around kids who, yeah he's just like kind of you know warm but even when he's being like you're a little dick <laughs> there's a sense of like oh this is there is a there's a sense of care in yeah. it. And you know, it was a really interesting sort of strange thing of, of having him kind of confront the fact that, you know, he he was a kid mm. um who deserved, you know, love and attention, but also had the ability to turn around and be like, be nicer to your mother. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, I love that. Uh I also love the moment when uh they sit outside the motel and mm. you know That was one of the ones I was thinking of, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and and they they start talking, and then you know Ryan said them the the older of them is like you know, I I push down all those memories and forcefully uh, change them in my head and and whatnot, and then younger them reminds him of how cool his dad was. Even he was a good guy. Yeah, he was a good guy, and I was like, stop making me cry. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> you can't do this. But I was very much surprised but also i think it made it better that they didn't save the dead it's it was good i think it's it's the braver thing to do in mm. the narrative i i i've as i've grown older i've grown more of an appreciation for stories that go um that or at least embrace the idea that things end and that people leave and that and there's nothing wrong with that it's just like it is the and that it makes when they are there, a sweeter thing, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. I I think that it, it, when we embrace those kinds of things, it helps us, you know, in other aspects of our lives to kind of, you know, tackle grief. And all. I just whacked my <laughs> 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 my green screen. I think it's it's an important thing to kind of internalize this idea that of like things happen in cycles and moments end and and, and all that sort of stuff. So the fact that there was like you cannot tell me what happens because it needs it just needs to happen. In, in it. Um, despite the fact that you have the opportunity to save me I don't want just let it everything be as it is and figure out how to be out <laughs> bless you <laughs> be outside of that I'm gonna stop that. <laughs> <laughs> you get it I, I yeah. do I do uh although I had this thought in my head throughout the movie that uh maybe he was killed my... Yeah, I had that thought. Uh, I thought it was like, oh, and, and if, it. yeah, and and if if they stop the whole thing, then you know it's it's not gonna happen, and that's gonna be the twist on it. Uh, but I'm kind of glad that I wasn't correct. Yeah, it was. I think it was better that it really was just it was just an accident yeah. that happened, and yeah. Although it would oh, have well. made sense for Kathleen Kinner's character to do that, like you know, I I could have it, especially it would have, it would have been believable. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
so yeah, I was like, oh, okay. So it, it didn't happen that way. It was really just an accident. <laughs> I will say, I think one of the only things I feel like didn't look quite as good as I think maybe it should have was the de-aging that they did on her. Um, I, it, it was a little iffy in places where weird. I was like, oh, she's a bit sort of soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, they've smoothed her out entirely. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was kind of hoping that there would be a sense, instead of her like getting killed, that there would be a sense of like having this sort of like seeing how what she becomes uh, that would was, like I was change her well. yeah. direction anyway. Yep. Um, but no, nope. she just. Got she just. <laughs> well, in a way, that was actually it was very cool. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, cool. I, I was expecting her to jump in front of like that would have been the redemption. Like you know, she sacrifices herself yeah uh uh but uh nope it was just no. pure nope. physics <laughs> scientist you sign i was terrified when they had that door shutting i was like don't leave him in there yep <laughs> i was really worried oh, i was God. like you can't die early nope <laughs> that can have i was like no uh i know instead they they kept him alive so they could goodwill hunting us later <laughs> That was what that was. It was, I know. <laughs> I know. It was brilliant. Uh I love the best joke. I, I will I will okay. have to say the best joke was the superhero landing. <laughs> and it, there was I, I wish I could actually remember some of the stuff. Oh, there were a couple of lines that really made me laugh and I don't remember <laughs> them specifically now. Um but it was it was kind of I, I think I like Ryan Reynolds more in these slightly more, like, he gets to be funny, but he has serious acting to do, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think I think it's, I think I much prefer that when he gets to do that. I did, I was thinking, like, when the, the movie started, I was like, the first, my first thought was to, it, I went back to Buried, which mm-hmm. is a, a really fucked it's, up movie. It is. <laughs> he's it really is. good in it. He is, he is, he is, he is. <laughs> I don't get people who say that he's he's not good at like more dramatic roles. I don't think that's true. I think is is he. I think, can he, be... I think he. I just don't think he does them enough. Is no. the thing. Yeah. Um, which is why I feel like I I felt like I was getting a bit tired of the sort of shtick that he'd been doing. Because like his his brand of comedies is funny. Like mm. he's 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 a you know, clearly a very adept improviser and and is very witty and all this other stuff. But it did feel like he was just sort of doing the same thing a lot. I mean. Um, I'm not going to say I don't agree because it's true, you know. But, but, uh, which is, but it's part of the reason why I actually went to this. I was like, okay, this is actually quite, mm-hmm. like, there, there's a sense of, like, seriousness to this that is, is enjoyable, enjoyable for me. Bless you. <laughs> I have to stop <laughs> drinking these ones for a <laughs> Fair. Uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think, you know, it was it was definitely... A lot more than I expected, mm-hmm. uh, uh, and uh, and I love that about it. Like I love when movies are able to surprise me, mm-hmm. uh, and l- let's not leave out the fact that this is an original story again. Mm-hmm. So that was nice. refreshing as well. I was like, oh yes, so good, love it. Uh, so yeah, I I think it's gonna be one of those feel good movies that you can just put on and and just watch it. I love. Uh, how so many people uh pured so much love towards it and i loved uh john krasinski's uh tweet the most mm. uh which i will quote in a second if i can she's getting it. it she's getting it she's getting it I'm, I'm, I'm getting there cut to tweet a few moments later uh this is what john krasinski said were tears shed while watching the adam project this weekend that's classified but yes, <laughs> congratulations and thank you, Wesley Reynolds. That's Ryan Reynolds' uh, Twitter name. You went back in time and brought back my childhood. And I was like, mm. oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, yeah, it's one of those things where the, I mean, it's very true. I'm sorry, I'm going off in a little different direction, actually. No, no, it's okay. uh, um, when you mentioned the classified thing. I'm thinking about the scene where they, they meet each other. Um, I feel like there's, it's very difficult to, to kind of pull that off. And I'd, there's a couple of points where I was a bit sort of like, I don't know how successful this is. Um, but because the, the, the sort of back and forth between them, I was getting, I was a bit like, 
what is, what's what's your goal here, buddy? I don't really. Are like you planning on telling him? Are you trying to hide it from him? You're a strange man who's just turned up in his house. <laughs> it didn't give any sort of sense of like um um I don't know trying to like give an excuse. He just is there and just is like I've been shot. I'm going inside the house. It's like whoa, hang on. <laughs> Uh, also small thing yes he managed to get inside the um the garage when it was locked before and then when he came back he suddenly couldn't get in there again because <laughs> was it locked on from the inside was that the difference because it had been done with a bolt instead i don't i, I was a bit like this is inconsistent <laughs> <laughs> there was something there something happening there i i i was like a bit like oh. Yeah, okay, uh, just let it go. You know, just let this go for now. Yeah, just let it go. Uh, I I will also point out that just like literally an hour ago, uh, Sean Levy, just uh, the director, uh, just uh, tweeted uh, a sweet sweet video uh, where Ryan Reynolds is actually crying, I guess. Um, and uh, I will just link it, or maybe I put it in. I don't think it's copyright, you know. <laughs> Dove, whatever. Uh, and he wrote, This was after I called cut on the last shot of the Adam Project, which seems to be the bar scene that they did with Jennifer Garner and Ryan uh, Mills, which was. I think may be my favorite mm. scene in the movie, actually. I think that the, I think that one was done the best. Yeah. In, in my opinion, that like, kind of like, because there's a sense of like actual, I guess, redemption is the. I don't know if it's really the word I'm looking for but there is a sense of like it it, it does have that sense a little bit I, I think just like uh, I have, I, I'm, I'm really really successfully managing to explain where your where your younger self was coming from while also like making up for his mistakes mm -hmm. it's like wow <laughs> okay <laughs> craggy it, it hit hard it hit hard uh, and he says on screen and of this guy Ryan Reynolds is an inspiration love the love you've shown our two movies and cannot wait for you to see what we make next two things there's the thing you make but there's the experience of making it and when you get both when you feel good about both it's like a miracle and this is my second in a row with Ryan and I feel like everybody on this movie knows the secret everybody knows he's funny and he's a professional and his work ethic is second to none. But on this movie, we see the heart on this guy. And we see the chops. And I felt privileged to be a part of bringing that up. I adore you. And I adore making things with you. So that's a picture wrap on Ryan Reynolds. And this is where we're going to... Yes! <laughs> This is where we're going to bring in the big news because I think we said everything there is to be said so. about the, the Adam project. Is that Sean Levy is going to direct the Deadpool 3 movie? Yes, the, the writers were really interesting, I seem to remember as well. The, 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 they announced for, um, hang on, I can't remember Did who they announce that, but... that as well? Yeah, they hang on. They said the, the writers were of, hang on, I'm going to find it. I will find it. I'm going to check as well. Who's going to find it first? It's a race. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna be you, because my my IMDb is being an asshole. Maybe did it. I mean, my internet's all working. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me. See. I'm trying to look at the Hollywood Reporter article about um. I got. Oh God. Uh, uh, almost there. Deadpool 3, the writers are not announced. Oh, they are. Rob Leefield. No, that's just the character writer. No. Wendy Mo Molina? What? Uh -huh. I, d I don't know. Oh, Reese, uh, Rhett Reese and yes. Paul Wernick, who penned the scripts of the first two films, are now working on Deadpool 3. Yes. Oh, that was it. Wendy uh, Molyneux and Lizzie Molyneux Logan... Uh, Log Loglin? Log Loglin? 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 I'm not sure. Known for the animated series Bog Burgers is or also working on the script. Ah, yes. That was what it was that I was like, it was, it was, uh, I was like, there's something that people really like and there are new writers that are working on it. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. It's, it's definitely, 
uh, you know, Deadpool is coming to the Marvel Universe. Many people are predicting already that uh, we're going to see him first in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness because people are seeming... Uh, it seems like that he's on the poster. If you look very, very close, and <laughs> look at what all those... Is coming out again? May? May, yes. It's, it's May coming out in May 6th? 20... Uh, six? Six? Is Six it, or seven, I was, something like I that. I was like, is it? It's either really early May or really late May. And I don't remember. I think no, it's, it's early it's May. No, it's early May. It's early May. It's definitely early May. Um, I think it's coming out right as Moon Knight is finishes. Uh, May sixth. I was right. There you go. Uh, and it has this uh, poster of you know Doctor Strange being in the middle, and then the glasses just breaking behind him, and apparently. And on one of one of the glasses, you can see Deadpool uh, showing up. Someone even did like I don't know where. Hang on, now I'm looking. I'm looking as well. I think it's on the right right side of it. Not sure, okay. but I I will find it for this video or for this episode and try to put it in. Uh, but apparently, some people think it's going to be him, uh, and it's going to be his official entering. Into there's a the MCU. there's a Captain Britain vil- uh, shield on this poster, though. Uh, there is, yes, 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 yes. Oh yeah, and it's very true that you know you haven't seen. Uh, I have not if, seen what if. Uh, uh, watch what if because it looks like it will have a lot of com- uh, connections. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what if just w- uh, won uh, the Critics' Choice and the Annie Awards for Best Animated Series? Uh, there's, a, there's a Minotaur on here as well. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> like I'm, I'm yeah, there, there are there's a lot of... Stuff, there's some stuff on here, huh? There are a lot of hidden uh, Easter eggs on there. Uh, it's going to be, Very. you know... Is that, I should stop looking at this. We're doing an audio podcast. <laughs> 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 this is not riveting. <laughs> But uh, you know, it's it's maybe. I mean, it would make sense since you know this is where the multiverse thing uh, will open up properly. Uh, I mean, uh, Patrick Stewart already. I was going to uh, say that was the big thing was Patrick Stewart was in the supposedly. I don't remember hearing him in the trailer. I just saw um, people were like afterwards were like, "Oh, Patrick Stewart," and I was like, "Yeah, where?" I I recognized his voice immediately. Like <laughs> as soon as he spoke, I was like. That's fucking Patrick Stewart. Like you can't convince me otherwise. His you, voice is just so I don't know. I can't recognize it anywhere. That I think I watched it on my phone, so I didn't couldn't hear uh, it okay. as well. Maybe I, I should have been able to. I'll, I'll watch it again in a minute. Um, it's I was the like, only yeah. thing I don't like about that trailer is that is that that bit um, where his face becomes cubes. I'm like every time I don't want to look at it. It's so like. No, thank you. Please stop. <laughs> so, like body horror. I'm like, no. But look, it, they they said it. It's it's gonna be like a first Marvel horror movie. Basically. Well, yeah, that's fine. I just it's it's that kind of like it, it's in the same vein as like that. Um, like yeah, uh, I can't remember how to say it. It's like tri tri phobia. The thing with the holes. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It, yes, yes, yes. It's yes, like yes. I I it's like I get that with some things and not others, but it's it's that kind of like strange. It's body completely sort of thing where I'm like it's bad. Fair. It's fair. <laughs> that's that's completely fair. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it didn't. I I I am just very excited for Doctor Strange as well. I'm like, I don't even care who's gonna appear in it. I just want to see it. I still haven't seen the first one. I know you haven't. I you should definitely. Watch I will it. do it before the movie comes out because obviously I want to be able to actually be caught up and everything. Um, I do find it very interesting. We've just moved straight on to Doctor Strange now. Yeah. Um. Uh. I do find it very interesting in that that most recent trailer with Wanda, um, where she, she says something like, um, "Oh, you do this and and you know, et cetera, et cetera," and I do it and I get vilified. It's like that mm-hmm. doesn't seem fair. I'm like, Wanda, you do remember that you took an entire town like captive, right? <laughs> <laughs> like it's not you're not it's not the multiverse thing that people have an issue with. It's the fact that you kind of held a bunch of people hostage. Accidentally, I understand, but like, still, it was an accident. <laughs> you know, I don't think he. Okay, never mind. We're not going to get into one. No, no, I mean, to be fair, we don't really know. But we it was it, madam. <laughs> That's it's, not okay. It's you know yes, but uh, I I think she's right in a way. You know, Doctor Strange. Well, you're gonna watch it, so you're gonna figure it out. He, he did do some 
fuck them. Shit, I guess. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. Doctor yeah. Strange. I've I already mentioned in our No Way Home review. I think he, he's like he fucks things up a lot, as far as I can tell. Yep. <laughs> So, you know it's it's like i can understand wanda like that's that's what i'm saying i'm like mm. i'm not i'm not saying otherwise i'm just saying in that moment i'm um, like that, that's nu- nuance here wanda yes let's, let's think this through a little bit fair fair that's a fair point again uh but uh yeah oh, so many things to look forward to especially starting from now ish i mean mm. april ish uh i think april is good like moon knight is coming out at the end of this month uh with the first episode very excited for that one as well uh, a little bit nervous this is the the subject matter um but i am excited <laughs> yes yes we, we, we I will did see we will read see. an interesting i read um because the most recent empire magazine had a whole thing about moon knight in there yeah. it was very interesting to read because the first time I watched that trailer, I was like, what the fuck is this accent meant to me? Because <laughs> it's the worst English accent I've ever heard. It, it sounds, sounds so great. strange. <laughs> but that's apparently very intentional. Like he apparently did, he, like the, the way he constructed that accent was intentional. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll allow it then. <laughs> this should be oh. interesting. <laughs> it, 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 will be, it will be very interesting. So we're going to basically, we're going to watch Moon Knight. Then we're going to get uh, we're gonna get uh, Morbius uh, soon as well. If, if... Still not. I like. I know we're doing. We're gonna. We're gonna be doing our. So actually, as a good point, we're gonna be going on a bit of a week break. Yes. Uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, I'm going on holiday, and at least it's gonna take some time to do some stuff. Yes. Um. So you you'll have to do without us for a week, but we're telling you in advance this time. As opposed to just me. Yeah. Like, yeah fuck it. We're not gonna forget about it this time. Uh. Yes. But uh, we we are coming back with Morbius. Uh, it's going to be our comeback review, basically. Uh, and my, my expectations? The floor. So this should be interesting. I know. I know. And, you know, it got pushed back a lot. Uh, but I still would like to think it's going to be good. Uh, <laughs> I love Jared, so I'm like... I, I know you do. And this is part of it. I, I just... He, he, he rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> He does with, <laughs> with many people, so I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm not, I won't even try to convince you. I, I you know, I love their music. I, yeah, I, I, f- I found that a lot of people who really like Jared uh, Leto are also really big fans of it happened, or at least were fans of Thirty Seconds from Mars first. Oh, have one okay. of their lines tattooed on me. Did not know that, that that was the thing that you had on you. <laughs> I, I do. I have Time to Be Alive from one of their songs, uh, Do or Die, and then they, I have their um, symbols under it so i'm like look. fancy that i did not know that yep originally i knew was... you liked him i didn't know it was that far <laughs> i love him i love him. i i like you know i've been watching him since the beginning of his career like as an actor as well so the first thing i watched was the series he did with um claire um uh, claire uh james uh, yes that's the first claire i can think of <laughs> wait, wait 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 i will i will tell you claire married you dancy claire james in Stardust, at Claire Danes. Claire, Claire Danes, yes. It is Claire Danes. Uh, my so-called life. That was the series. Oh, uh, yeah. That was the first thing I watched, and then from then onwards, I literally watched all of his movies, uh, not intentionally. Most of the time, a lot of times it was by accident. And then he started doing music, and and I was in love with that music. So I still am. Um, so I'm very excited for him. Uh, I can, I can, I, I. I hope that it's going to be good or at least it's going to set up something very interesting because as we know, it does feature Michael Keaton uh, as the Watcher again, which is from Tom Holland's Oh, he is universe. the Watcher? Yeah. I wasn't sure if he was still playing the same character. It, this, it, was it, the big, this was the big kind of thing because he was like, I was thought he was playing somebody else, nope. which was what I was like. Oh. He's he's still he's still Adrian. Uh, he's still the Watcher, uh, and that's interesting because at the same time they are showing backgrounds from the OG Spider-Man movie and then mm. the Amazing Spider-Man as well. So it's like, what's happening here? <laughs> what's going on? Like, where where are we? Which universe are we in? Yeah, um, my my whole thing is is that look, the Venom movies aren't good, but they're really entertaining. Yeah. I have this feeling that this movie's not gonna if if it's not good, it's not gonna have the it's not gonna have Tom Hardy to pick it up again, you know. We will see. I'm, I'm only gonna say this. We will see. What's, we will what's see. I'm true. I am I may be very wrong. 
or, or I may be very wrong. Like, mm. you know, I'm going to admit it. Like, I love Jared, but if he does Joker <laughs> something better, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to say it. <laughs> you good? <laughs> yes, it's all good. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm just excited to see it. Like, I love the trailers. I, I think it looks very, like, I love the Morbius character as well. Like, it's one of my uh, favorite Spider-Man villains, basically, because he's one of the biggest foes against Spider-Man as well. Uh, so, you know, it will be interesting to see uh, how they turn it into live action. And so far, uh, all the effects and everything look pretty damn good. I, I mean, they've had enough time to work in. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair, camera. but I'm still going to point it out that it, it looks very accurate to what the original version looks like in the comic so i'm like i'm happy with that so far uh and then you know we're gonna see how the movie turns out i guess it's it's coming soon ish um and yeah we'll see we will see we'll find out uh hey lily yes what are we talking about next week <laughs> do we have anything written down uh i wrote down that we could do you like an uh, what to look forward to in April because we forgot to do it that for March. <laughs> so, Let's do that. <laughs> so I guess we're going to do that, I guess. We can. And then we're going to go on a break. And we're going to go on a break. And then we'll be back with Morbius. And Morbius. So it's the, it's the, it's. So next week uh, we're still coming on. We're still here next week. That will be, that'll be our episode on the 24th. And then the week after that. We're like. I think is the 30th. Yes. It is. It's the yeah. t- 31st. But yeah, thirty. Yes, you're right. No, 31st. it's the thirty first. Yeah, because then, um, the, yeah, it's, it, it doesn't matter. So we won't be here on the thirty first. We'll be back in April. Yes, with Morbius, Done. April seventh. I think that's Thursday. But anyway, that was us for now with the Adam Project. Please watch it. It's on Netflix. It's 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 a fun movie. It's very fun. I very much loved it. I think Katie loved the it. Adam Project better than you think it might be. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can roll with that um and yeah we love you all and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and Share the fucking video in the episode <laughs> and we all do the rate this and various podcasts i don't know what this voice is meant to be it's like i'm doing it's like i'm doing uh, <laughs> i don't know what happened with katie but we're just gonna roll <laughs> no, <but> with it <laughs> <laughs> it's okay uh and we love you all Goodbye. Very well.